Hello, my name is Brad Bodigan. I own Bodigan's HT Motorcycle in Roanoke, Indiana. Today we're at Evers Custom Cycles in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We'll be installing Samson Tool Duels um, with 36 inch slip ons, non baffled, on a 2012 soft tail. Let's get started. So, we've already started with the existing exhaust off the bike. You'll typically reuse the clip and the flange off your old exhaust, or you can buy the new chrome flanges and clips from Samson. Now, you'll put the flange on first, make sure the inside of this ring is coming towards the exhaust port. Slide that on, and then take your clip, start with the, one of the edges underneath there, and just work it around with your fingers until it goes on. And then, like I said, ensure that that clip sits down in the flange. You don't put it on backwards or it won't sit up all the way when you bolt the pipe onto the head. So now we'll come on to the other side of the bike. We'll install the supplied shift rod and we'll install the coil relocation bracket. You have to put these on in order to clear the rear pipe because it comes through between the oil tank and the rear cylinder. So to start that, take the front of the shift rod off typically there's a 7 16 wrench on the back and a half inch socket on the front and then you'll take off the rear linkage so we got our shift linkage on we got our coil relocation bracket on this is what it should look like. The shift linkage should dip right here and the coil bracket should hug the tank. You will slide out the existing coil bracket out the right side of the bike and slide the new one in from the right side. Unplug your coil when you take it off and then you'll put your coil back on once you uh, get it all on. We just wanted to show you what it'll look like before you get to that point. So we've already got the oxygen sensor installed. We're going to go ahead and get this pipe up in here. You'll wiggle it around however you got to go. Hold that flange on up here with one hand. And then you'll take your nuts and loosely put them on um, till the stud's about flush with the end of the nut. We don't want to tighten them up yet. We want to get everything else in place before we go ahead and do that. All right, so we got the front head pipe in place. We already have our oxygen sensor in. Loosely install the nuts, um, maybe a few threads. We don't want to get too tight because we have to leave everything else loose so we can get everything adjusted correctly. So just like the front pipe, we're going to put the oxygen sensor in first. Slide this in from the right side of the bike. It is a little tricky. You kind of wiggle it around, know where you're going. Spin the flange around, get the flange lined up on the exhaust studs. These nuts are half inch. It helps if you use an extension to get the nuts started on this rear pipe because the access is limited. All right, so the next step is to install the rear crossover pipe. You're going to take one of the supplied clamps, slide it on. This is 3 16 to Allen. You will then get in position here, get your clamp in position and loosely slide that on and then you will go ahead and just snug this up. You're going to want to leave it a tad loose so you can still move it up and down like this to get everything in the final position. So the next part is we're going to install the exhaust brackets. They are side uh, specific. You will find this is the left side of the bike. Using the supplied hardware, you'll go in these two holes right here some some bikes are already have plugs in there. You will have to pull the plugs out if your exhaust if your bike did not have dual exhaust on it. Go ahead, snug those up. Don't get them 100% tight. We want to be able to <clears throat> adjust it up and down here to fit everything else coming back. Then when you're done with that, 
Repeat the same process on the other side. Remember, leave it loose, do not tighten it up. All right, so we already have the left side muffler on. We're gonna go ahead and put on the right side. Using the supplied clamp, slide it over the end of the muffler. Then you're gonna take this, I said this is all loose, so we can still move it around. Slide it on, line it up with these two slots on the exhaust bracket, and put your bolts in from the back side. Again, snug them up, but don't, don't tighten them completely. All this stuff is still loose, and it'll all be snugged up at the very end. Next thing we're gonna do is put our hose clamps on the exhaust shields. You just simply, you undo them, simply slide them in the slot on the exhaust shield. Just like so. These are already done. These should be how they all should look right here. Next thing we're gonna do is put on the front head pipe exhaust shield. You'll start up front. It helps if you do spread out the clamps a little bit. Put these on and then we'll go ahead and tighten all these clamps up. We want to leave them just a touch loose that way everything can be adjusted like we have been through this whole process. Next you'll put on the rear pipe, the heat shield on the right side of the bike. I already have it started. Go ahead and snug it up. Next we'll put on the left side exhaust shield. I already have it on. Go ahead and snug up everything like we've been doing. So now we're going to start at the head with the two exhaust studs and we'll work our way back tightening everything up. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to snug up the rear cylinder exhaust stud nuts then we're going to come to the back here, tighten up this muffler on the bracket. Tighten those up. You'll tighten these two up down here. Then you will tighten up this clamp right here. We already have it pretty snug. We're just going to finish tightening it up. All right, again, so we're going to start back here at the very back. Then you come down here to the bracket mount on the frame. You move to the exhaust clamp here by the rear jug. And then you will final tighten the exhaust stud nuts on the other side. The biggest mistake made is not doing it in that order. You will have a leak most of the times if you do not. Again, when you're all done installing, wipe everything down nice and clean before you start the bike. Don't wanna have any dirt or fingerprints on the chrome at all. Um, again, I'm Brad Bodigan, Bodigan's HD Motorcycle in Roanoke, Indiana. I wanna thank Evers Custom Cycles out of Fort Wayne, Indiana for hosting the location for this. And if you have any questions, call Samson Exhaust or give them an email. Thank you.